video, we are going to look at how to add the district calendar for Chicago Public Schools into your regular calendar. The purpose for this will be so that you can see any holidays, testing days, important days that affect the entire district so that you can lay them on top of your own calendar to avoid scheduling improperly um, and just to see the larger picture of events that are going on in the district. So first I have here my regular calendar. I have a library department calendar that I can toggle on and off. I have a library's PD calendar that I can log on and off, but I can't really see any of the district events here. Let me show you how to do that. You're going to go to other calendars, uh, which is right below the calendars that are your own calendars. Go to other calendars, say add by URL. This link comes up and in this link, this is what you'll add. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash ICAL that's I-C-A-L dot C-P-S dot E-D-U. And say add the calendar. Immediately you'll see that another calendar has popped up here on top of your calendar. And if I put this down um, to the left here, this arrow, I can see it in my list right there. This is quite handy in order to see things that are going on through the district. If you find that your colors seem to make it difficult to notice the difference in colors, there are easy ways to change the colors of any of your calendars so that you have a higher contrast. So let's say in this case I would like the library department calendar to stand out and be a little different. I may, um, I'm, I am putting my mouse over the calendar, hitting the um, down arrow, and coming here to the color palette. Let's make it green. So now we have green, we have um, the blue, and we have the iCalCPS.edu calendar um, standing out. If I scroll from month to month, I'll notice Columbus Day coming up, uh, re progress report cards, board meetings, and so on. So this is a very handy way to see um, the important dates without having to go to all the trouble to create the events in your own calendar. Now let's say that um, you have a lot going on and you don't really want to see that calendar um, with all of your other events. You can just click it and it disappears. Click it and it comes back. So that's layering one calendar on top of the other to get a fuller picture of what is going on in the district as it relates to your own calendar. Thank you very much.